at this time we ask evangelists, Ella Grace Smith, and lead us in a song. I love Jesus. All right. He's my savior. When the storms are raging, he's my shelter.
everybody. Come on and praise the Lord, everybody, for this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Amen. Let us exalt his name together. For he is wonderful. Amen. He's been good to us. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Amen. If you can in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. God is good. Amen. I was glad when he said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We thank God for each of you. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord if you can, amen. And we like to say a pleasant good afternoon to you and you and our men and men and listen out in social media and to our extended church family and to our, our church family here in the sanctuary. Amen. We like to say a good afternoon on this wonderful, blessed win afternoon, amen. And realize, amen, that it's your choice to be here, amen. Amen, didn't nobody make you come, amen, but you came by choice, amen. And we thank God that when you come by choice, amen, you came to praise God, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, 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 amen. I feel the Spirit of the Lord is moving in this place on today, amen. Daniel, amen, Elder Grace Smith got us stirred up today, amen. Amen, talking about Jesus' love, amen. Amen, we are the church of the Holy City, amen, where everybody is somebody, amen. We are located here on David D. here in the Poor Virginia area. Our path and the founder of the most honorable, Bishop Nathaniel and First Lady Queen Dupree, amen. We ask you to stay tuned for the next hour, for the hour of power here at the Church of the Holy City. And we know that our bishop, amen, got a word for us on today. Amen, our bishop had declared, amen, that this year is a better year, amen. Amen, just in case you don't know what year he's talking about, he's talking about 2023, amen. Or 2023, however how you want to pronounce it, amen. This is a better year, amen. I don't know how you feel about it, but I feel like this is a better year already, amen. Amen, it seems like it's going back quicker than I expected it to go, amen. Amen, and the blessing is flowing right behind it, amen. Oh, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, let us all stand for our creed, amen. We're going to read our creed. Amen, I believe it's going to be up on the board. <clears throat> this is a better year. My mind is transforming by the word of God. I am seeking God with all my heart and drawing his presence near. What I think and believe is manifesting. I believe that I am healed. I believe that I am redeemed by the blood of Jesus. I believe my family is blessed. I believe that the works of my hands are blessed. I believe that every generation curse has been broken. I believe I have power to cast out devils, heal the sick, raise the dead, and share the gospel to those that are lost. I believe that when God's called me home, that I will reign with him in glory. For we declare and decree in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Yes, yeah, we go down script now. Script lesson for the year is coming from 2 Chronicles 7, chapter and the 13 and the 14 verse. And we see here God is speaking to King Solomon, amen, one of the wisest men. Amen. This is what he said to King Solomon. If I set up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked way. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Oh, come on and give God a praise. Amen. Amen for the scripture. Amen. Got our prayer on Evangelist Cheryl Dupree going to come and read our, amen, lead us in a word of prayer. This morning on our prayer list, we praying for Mother Christine Brownack. Mother Lizzie May Seal, Mother Doris B. Jones, Missionary Ernestine Smith, Brother Joe Daniel McDowell, Brother Ron Harvey, Deacon Ryan Harvey, Brother Michael Scott, praying for our school system, Greenwood County, Southampton County, Sussex County, Brunswick County, and all the surrounding school system and to our correctional center. And to you and you that are listening, at this time, our very own Evangelist Cheryl Dupree can come and lead us to the throne of grace. <laughs> 
Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise I'd like the to Lord. Give it to God, who's the head of my life, to my pastor, first lady, co-pastor, Chairman Dick Sloan, everybody in respectful places. At this time, we're going to go to the throne of grace, and whatever you need from God, just trust and believe that it shall come to pass. Yes. Father right. God, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, Lord God, we come to you, Lord God. Meek and humble as we know how this morning, Lord God. Thanking you, Lord God, for allowing us to, Lord God, put on our clothes piece by piece, Lord God. Lord, we want to say thank you, Lord God, that the blood yet running warm in our veins this morning, Lord God. I, I want to say thank you, Lord, for being so good to us, God. I thank you, Lord, huh, for just being there, Lord God. Lord God, making ways out of nowhere, God. I thank you, Lord. Huh. I want to say thank you, Jesus, huh. Lord God, because you didn't have to do it, God. Huh. But Lord God, I'm so grateful that you did, God. Huh. I want to say thank you, Lord God. Huh. Lord God, I'm asking you to touch, Lord God, the sick, Lord God. Huh. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, huh. I'm asking you, Lord God, to touch the afflicted, Lord God, Lord God. I'm asking you, Lord God, the bereaved family, Lord God. I'm asking you, Lord yes, God, to touch yes. the family, Lord God, yes, strengthen them Lord. where they're weak, Lord God. In yes. the name of Jesus, Lord God, I'm asking you, Lord God, somebody is standing, Lord God. Lord God, standing in the need of prayer, God, and we standing right here, God. Lord God, I'm asking you to fulfill, Lord God, every purpose, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Every plan, Lord God. I'm thinking you right now, Lord God, to touch the yes. man servant, Lord God, as he prayed for the word on this morning, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. I'm asking you to touch him from the top of his head yes. to the sole of his feet, Lord God, and continue to bless. Yes, Lord God, in a miraculous way, Lord God. Lord God, I'm asking you to touch every member, Lord God, that's here, Lord God. Lord God, whatever they're standing in need of, Lord God, I'm asking you to bless them. Hallelujah, in a special way, God. I'm asking you to touch my family, Lord God, in a special yeah, way, God, in yeah. the name of Jesus. Thank I'm you, asking Lord. you to save, Lord, deliver, Hallelujah. Lord God, and set the captive free, Lord yes, God, Jesus. in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I know there's nothing, hallelujah, too hard for you, God. And Lord God, I'm just asking you right now, Lord God, to meet the need, Lord God. Thank I'm you, asking you, Lord God. Lord God, I'm asking you, Lord God, to just touch, Lord God, the people that are going through, Lord God, in yeah. the school systems, Lord God. Lord God, I'm asking you, Lord God, to touch every child, Lord God, every newborn, Lord God, whatever it is, Lord God, I'm asking you, Lord God, to do a new thing, yes, Lord God. Lord, Lord God, you, fix it, Lord God. Lord God, I'm asking you right now, Lord God, to touch the backslider, Lord God, that they come back, Lord God, yeah. and every sinner man, Lord God, I'm asking you to save God. I'm asking you to deliver, Lord God. And set them free in the name of Jesus. I'm thanking you for everything and all things in the name of the Father, in the name of the yeah. Son, in the name of the precious Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, we count it all done. And amen and amen. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen. We thank God for that soul stirring prayer coming from our very own evangelist, Cheryl Dupree. One in church out in Radio Land. Let me let you know that the earth has no sorrow, that heaven cannot heal. The earth cares in the problem, that heaven cannot solve. Realize in prayer will fix it. Every time. And we thank God because there is power in prayer. Prayer still works. Anybody believe that prayer still works? 2023, prayer still works. And we thank God. Amen. By way of announcement, our order server here to touch of the Holy City each first and fourth, through fourth Sunday. Our first service began at 8 30 a.m. to 9 a.m. And then and our guest speaker, our speaker will be none of our very own elder Michael White here will be our speaker for the first service. This coming Palm Sunday. This is Palm Sunday coming up, which will be the first Sunday, amen. The other Michael White here will be the speaker at that first service. And then we have Sunday school from 9 30 to 10 30. Then we'll come back at 12 noon where Elder Patrick Brownack Sr. will be the speaker for that noon day service. We also have um, an hour of power each Wednesday at 12 noon to 1 p.m. conducted by Bishop Nathaniel Dupree. I mean, these are announcements. You're called to invite to come and worship us in and all these services. And if you'd like to sow your financial seed to the Church of the Holy City, you may do so in three ways. Amen. It'll be up on the screen. Amen. We can keep it up there for a while. Some people kind of slow with it with the phone, so you can get it. Amen. You can bring it in person, and we be here from 8:30 a.m. to Amen to 8:30 a.m. to 1:30 p.m. Also, we can send your cash app the dollar sign Holy City 68. That's cash app. Dollar sign Holy City 68, or you can send a check or a money order to Church of the Holy City, P.O. Box 175, Emporia, Virginia 23847. On behalf of our pastor, Bishop Dupree, and the First Lady, I mean, we want to thank you for your past, your present, and the future support that you contribute to in our outreach ministry here at the Church of the Holy City. I want to let you know that it's you to help make it possible for us to win the lost soul for Christ. Amen. We thank you and highly appreciate you. Amen. And at this time, 
Now, word time. Amen. Before the bishop come up, though, we're going to have another selection by our very own missionary Ann Timmy going to come and lead us in a song. And the next voice you will hear will be then our very own bishop, that Daniel Dupree. Amen. Something got a hold of me. Oh, yes, it did. I say something got a hold on me.
tell the church one night. My heart wasn't right. But something, I say something, got a hold of me. Jesus got a hold of me. Raise your hand and praise him. Oh, say Jesus got a hold of me. Hey, my heart wasn't right. But Jesus, wherever you are, wherever you need it, whatever you need, let Jesus get a hold of you. He'll make you brand new. He'll heal you. He'll deliver you. He'll set you free. He'll save you right now. Nothing too hard for my God to do. Somebody lift their voice and say, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my laying down last night, my early rising. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Ain't God good? Ain't God good? He's a healer for the body. Save you for the soul. Whatever you need, he's available. Clap your hand and say, I thank you, Jesus. Hello. Thank you all for praising him. Oh, thank you for the selection and the prayer description. You, you that are tuning your hearts and minds in this direction. We thank God for you. Thank God for you. God is awesome. Power mighty. Hello. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You that are tuned in your heart in this direction, we thank God for you. Our good folks in Washington, D.C., the Mathea family, Trudy, Glenn, and Mary Jane, and the rest of the family, we thank you for whatever you are doing. Keep on doing it. We thank you for supporting Holy City Church with your financial. We thank you very much, Trudy, and your sister, and the rest of the family. You and you, that are tuning in your heart, send mine in this direction. Oh God, yes, North Carolina, South Carolina, we thank you. Oh Georgia, Washington DC, oh God, we thank you now. We thank you, we thank you for Ella McCray, my sister, my daughter, all my kin, in South Carolina, Dillon, South Carolina, and wherever you are listening to this telecast at the day, we thank God for you. Brother Ron Harvey, Deacon Ron Harvey, we thank you, Deacon Harvey. Keep on doing what you're doing, son. God go open up the windows of heaven for you and pour out a blessing. Are uh, you supporting Holy City? and pull you out of blessing that there will not be room enough to receive. Somebody clap the hand and tell God thank you. Hey, Lord. Hey, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Deacon Timothy Sloan. Thank God for him and his wife for the good work that they are doing here at Holy City. And you, you, and you, I won't be able to call each and every one of you name for your support, what you are doing here at Holy City. But God knows. God going to pay each one according to what you do for him. And whatever you do for Jesus, it will last. Ah, thank you. If you want to be made whole, if you want to be forgiven, if you want to be set free, 
Whatever you need, God is available to give you everything you need. Now, at this time, up here in the roster, our sister, missionary, minister, Shea Bronax. Now, she's a, uh, what are you, what are you? Artist. Yeah, excuse me, yo. Uh, uh, Evangelist artist. So faithful here, working hard, faithful that she can, supporting Holy City Church. And sister, artist, we want you to come now in your own way and let God use you. She gonna tell you somewhat what I'm going to be talking about today. I give you Evangelist serious artist. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, church. But God is good, amen. Amen. I'm glad to be here on this morning, amen, Mr. Austin God, amen. Amen. The word of God on this morning is coming from Acts chapter 9, verses 1 through 9, amen. Yeah. Amen. You may stand, amen, as I read the word of God, amen. And the word reads as follow, amen. And Saul, yet breathing out threatenings and slaughtering against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the high priest and desired of him a letter to Damascus, to the Sargon, that if he found any other way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound into Jerusalem. That's right. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined around about him a light from heaven. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecute thou me? Why? Mm. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? Uh -huh. And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom thou persecute. Go ahead. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. Yeah. And he trembled and astonished and said, Lord, what would thou have me to what do? What you have me to do? Hey. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Yeah. And a man which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. Uh -huh. And souls arose from the earth, and when his and when his eyes were opened, and when his eyes were opened, he saw no man. Uh -huh. But they led him by the hand and brought him unto Damascus. Yeah. And he was there three days without sight, and neither did he eat nor drink. No. Amen. No. Amen. Then hear the pastor. Amen. Uh huh. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, daughter. Amen. For reading God holy word, you may be seated. Saw were a mean, keen hearted person. He didn't like you, 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 you. Because you love God. Anybody that was a friend of God, Saul was against them. He is something in that day and time is like the devil is today. If you love God, if you praise in God, the devil gonna do all that he or she can to stop you. But I come today to serve notice on the day. Don't let the devil block it. Don't let the devil stop it. Keep on going on. Keep on holding on. Keep on keeping on. And keep your hands in God hands. Say, I let nothing separate me from the love of God. Hot, not down. Huh? I will not let nothing separate me from the love of God. I came too far to turn around now. I've been done too low, and God brought me up and told me to go, and I came too far to turn around now. 
Are there anybody out there in listening land can agree with me that you came too far to stop now? The valley get low, the mountain are high, but you and you refuse to turn around now. Clap your hand and give God thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I will not turn around now. Hallelujah. God is awesome. Huh? The devil don't like you. But I told you this year, before this year ever in the end, that God is going to give us blessing. God going to give us everything that we need. It might be high, it might be low, but don't give up, just keep on going. Hey! The devil don't like the church. I come to tell somebody today that the devil don't like the church. And if you are in the church, the devil don't like you. The devil gonna do all that he or she can to stop you to pull you down, disencourage you from coming to church. But the devil, there's a lot. Say, I'm gone in her. I'm a praise God in her. Oh God, I love you. Forgive me for all my sin. Repeat after me, forgive me for all my sin. Blood out all my transgressions. Make me a new creature. Right now, I love you, Lord. I'm a praise you. I love you, Lord. I will praise you. Clap your hand and praise God. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, that old devil didn't like God in the beginning. Huh? When he was in heaven. He had his chance. He had his chance. He was in heaven. Tell me he was beautiful. He was dollable. He was so knowledgeable. So he thought he had more sense than God. Huh? More understanding than God had. But I saw him notice. Anybody think you got much sense? It's God. You was already a fool. God got all knowledge. Got all understanding. And you ain't got no knowledge or understanding unless you got it from God. When Jesus rose from the dead, he said, all power. All knowledge is given unto me in heaven and in earth. I got the power. I tell you, God got the power. Washington, D.C., Maryland, New York City, South Carolina, whatever you need, God got it. You need healing, God got it. If you need a breakthrough, God got it. If you need the Holy Ghost, God got it. He got everything. He said, go. If you want power, ask God for it. Huh? Say, Lord, give me power. Give me power. I'm tired of living in sin. Make me holy. I live for you right now in the name of Jesus. Saul was a mean man. You know what happened? He was on his way down to persecute the God people. Devil don't want you to live holy. Devil don't want you to be what you are right now. Say, say I'm saved. I'm saved. 
I'm Holy Ghost filled. Heaven in my view. I promised the Lord I'd go through. Are you going through with Jesus? Say, I'm going with Jesus. I'm going to praise him. Well, Saul didn't like him. Well, how many know God can turn a bad situation into a good thing? He can turn a bad situation into a good thing. I was mean one day. I was mean to do no good. I was mean to do wrong. But God changed me. Have you been changed? Have you been changed? If you haven't been changed, you can get changed before you leave in a day. Say, I want to be changed. I want to be saved. Thank God. Paul was a mean man. He persecuted the church. He just persecuted the church. The people of God, if they say they were saved, he persecuted them. He tried to kill them. Have you ever been persecuted? I tell you, I'm persecuted on every side. Kick not what I'm holding on. I'm holding on. I'm holding on. I refuse to go down. I'm going to stand up for Jesus. Do I have any going to stand up for Jesus? Washington, D.C., South Carolina, wherever my voice is heard, my brother family in Washington, D.C., stand up for Jesus. You might get weak sometimes. You might simmer sometimes. But don't go all the way down. The devil knocked you this way, go that way. Say, I'm going to hold on for Jesus. I'm going to hold on. Keep on holding on. Paul, he persecuted God people. And God people, you know what God people did? They prayed. When the devil is persecuting you, the devil is putting a low blow on you, trying to turn you around, you stand up for Jesus. You pray. That's how you stand up for Jesus. Pray. Pray. Good to see you, missionary man, Ron. That look like you. God is good. Yeah. Stand up for Jesus. Everything will be all right. You might get weak, stumble, but stand on. The road may get slick, but hold on. When they stoned Stevenson to the death, Stevenson was a deacon, and they stoned him to death. Paul said, I was a young boy then. But when they stoned him, I hit the coat for the men to kill him. And I don't like church folks. I ain't never been a lover of church folks. There's somebody out there less than told me that they had never been a lover of church folk. But I tell you, don't let that stop you from loving God. You just stand up anyhow and say, if you don't like me, I'm still going to hold on to Jesus. I'm holding on to God's unchanging hand. Hey, God. Clap your hand and give him praise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they were stoning Stevenson to death, he was one of the head deacons. While they were stoning him, killing him, he was praying. He was happy. He was excited. And while he was praying, he said, Lord Jesus, 
Forgive them that killing me, for they know not what they are doing. Forgive them, Lord. Forgive them, Lord. Forgive them, Lord. You pray for the folks that don't like you, the folks that hate you. You pray for them and die and go on to heaven in peace. It's just a shortcut. Paul said, I hold the coat of those murdering that was murdering Stephen, and he died in peace. It's all right to die when you die in peace. Y'all don't hear me. It's all right to lead this world and lead this world in peace. But Paul was a mean man. He was going, he got a letter from the chief priest to kill everybody that he didn't like. He got a thought in front of the chief priest, and he was going down to do to, to persecute the saints of God. Do you hear me? But why he was on his way to the Lord? Who oh, thank God. There's a stopping point. There's a turnaround point. You can go and go and go. Keep on going. But God's going to stop you one day. God's going to turn you around one day. You better get your heart right. You better get your soul right. Because God's going to turn you around one of these days. One day, he was on his way down to the master, galloping his heart, going to persecute God people, going to criticize God people. But to his knowledge, somebody, Minister West, uh, Minister Sibia, somebody, had then got in touch with got in touch with God and say Lord we living in a mean old world we have an ups and down more down than we is up but Lord there's a murder going round trying to persecute the church. Oh, Lord, will you stop him? Turn him around. Somebody is praying for you that you'll be turned around. You don't like the church, but God don't like you. Well, you mean cunning devil. God gonna stop you just like he did for Saul. Uh, somebody was praying. Uh, say, Lord, that a mean man. Uh, he persecuted the church. God, stop him now. Turn him around now. Uh, God will. I say, God will. He answer prayer. How many know he answer your prayer? If you see, he answer your prayer. Whatever the problem may be, if you call on him, if you call on him, he answer your prayer. Yeah, sugar diabetes, COVID nineteen. High blood pressure, whatever you have, if you call on him right now, he answer your prayer. Won't he do it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, good God Almighty, clap your hand and pray, God. Hey, answer prayer. Paul was on the way down going down to persecute God people. But somebody went down on the knees saying, God, you got the power 
to do anything but fail. Now, Lord, that young man is a murderer. When you don't serve God like you should, when you don't pray God like you would, you become a murderer. You can become a liar. You can become a homemonger. You can become a false pretender. But I heard, I heard somebody say, Lord, Lord, I'm doing all I can. I'm doing all I know how. I'm trying to serve you. But right over Yama, the devil is on my track, trying to turn me back. Now, Lord, make the devil leave me alone. I'm doing the best I can. I'm praying. All I know how, I'm paying my tithes, I'm giving my donation, I'm doing all I can, but the devil trying to stop me, but I refuse. I'm going in high, I refuse. I'm going in high. Are there anybody uh, in South Carolina, Washington, D.C., uh, Lynchburg, uh, New York City, uh, Florida? Uh, I'm going on anyhow. Uh, ain't it all right? Uh, yeah! Yeah! Have your hand and pray. Ain't God good? Ain't God good? And that just saw what's going on. Gallon on his beat. Somebody prayer got through to God. It seemed like the prayer I'm not gonna get through, Deacon Sloan. But don't stop. Keep on praying. That the breakthrough is coming. There's One of them old lady, Rich Helen, say, Lord, stop him. Turn him around. Save his soul. Make him a new creature. Tell you somebody praying for you, you, and you today. God gonna make you new today before you leave from him. Yeah, God, turn him around. Missionary Artie, when that prayer, Rest the heaven, our answer gonna come back. I say our answer gonna come back. Our answer coming back. A prayer and an answer don't stay in heaven again. When the prayer reach God, God rest saw. Shine a bright light down. Say brighter than the noonday soon. Oh God. Knock him down. He fell down off his beat. Say that light was brighter than any other light. It's something about Jesus. It's different from the other. It's different about the jaw that God gave him. It's more better than the other jaw. Oh, joy, unspeakable joy. Somebody say, I got joy like a river springing up. Saul was going down to persecute the saint. Just yelling on his beat. Had two men with him going along with him. The devil gonna always have somebody with him. But don't worry about them. They ain't got no match for God. They can't handle God. They might as well to give up. They might as well to start praying. They can't handle God. God got the power. He just got going on into the city. After why the Bible said, a light shine. Brought up. Then the noon they soon knocked him to the ground. He fell down to the ground. And he heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, 
God is calling somebody, calling you out of your mess. God is calling somebody to get saved. God is calling somebody to be delivered. God is calling somebody to be made whole, be set free. He's calling somebody. You may be been a drug addict, a liquor drinker, whatever you had been. God can make you to don't be no more. Say what I had been. I ain't gonna be no more. I ain't gonna be no more. Clap your hand and say I ain't gonna be no more. Dawson! Hear God calling out. Why persecuted that me? Paul wanted to play stupid then. Make that he ain't never heard of him. What the Lord Jesus? That's what he said. So he must be heard of it if he say, Who art thou, Lord Jesus? He didn't say, Who art thou? He said, Lord Jesus. He said, I'm Jesus of Nazareth, the Holy One, the Anointed One, the one that's going to save you. The one that going to live with you. Say, Lord, here I am. Jesus said, I'm, I'm Jesus. I got power. I got the anointing. I break his every yoke. I'm Jesus. I hit high and I hit low. Nobody can give me the blow that I give them, cause I'm Jesus. Jesus said unto him, where you going? He said, I'm going to persecute the saints of God. God said, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Hey, thing is changing now. Thing is turning around now. We getting an increase now. Go down the road. That is called straight. There's a man there by the name of Annie now. You ain't gonna do no more persecuting no more. I'm gonna get you straightened out today. If you wanna get straightened out, God can straighten you out. God can fix you up. God can clean you up. He'll do it even today. That looked like Deacon Herbert Lewis back then. I can't. God bless. Tell the Lord thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to straighten you up. Say, where you going? He said, I'm going to persecute the saints. God said, you ain't going to persecute the saints no more. Say, they the highest down there. Ain't an eye there. And you're going to go to him, and he's going to tell you what to do. You don't know what to do, but you need somebody to tell you or show you what to do. How many know you need somebody to show you or tell you what's what to do? You don't know what to do. You need somebody to talk to you. You need somebody to show you just what you need to do. And I looked at the men that were with him. They shot him on the beat. Hey, shot him on Hey! I want to be the deliverer. And they went down to the street that is called Straight. And a by the name of, a man by the name of Anna. And God said, he'll tell you just what you ought to do. Ain't God is good. Ain't he all right? 
ain't he good? <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, Lord. <laughs> and God spoke to Ananias <laughs> and say, Ananias, I want you to get on the job. There's a man. It's coming your direction. I want you to lay your hands on him. And when you lay your hands on him, scales going to fall from his eye. He's going to be baptized, going to be filled with the Holy Ghost. When you lay your hands on him, and I heard, I heard, and then I say, give me strip you of that man that I recognize him. When he comes through the door, ah, I, I heard. And then I say, Lord, I heard so much about him. He's a mean man. He's a murderer. He's a false pretender. I'm afraid of him. Yeah. But I heard God say, I done touched him down the road. Oh, Lord, uh, when you lay your hands on him, uh, he gonna be made whole. Uh, I wanna tell you something. Uh, he's a praying man. There ain't no harm in a praying child of God. If you pray, the devil can't do you no harm. Uh, keep on praying. Uh, yeah! 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 Pray on. When he laid his hand on him, scale fell from his eye. He was blind. He become with his sight. He could see then. God doesn't touch me. Say, I can see now. God doesn't touch me. God doesn't heal me. God done deliver me. God done set me free. God made everything all right. Ain't God all right? Yeah! Yeah! Made me whole. It was Jesus that made me whole. I'm happy as I can be since Jesus has set me free. Clap your hand and give God some praise. Yeah! Yeah, Lord. Paul was filled with the Holy Spirit. He was blessed he was delivering. He would set me free. He said it was Jesus that made me whole. I'ma serve him till I die. Paul went on the way, telling people the wages of sin and death, but the gift of God is eternal life. I persecuted the church. I fight against the church. I don't fight against the church no more. Jesus has made me whole. Have Jesus made anybody whole? I'm asking Brother Dupree, would he come out and give me a selection, please? It was Jesus Christ that made me whole. And I'm going to praise him, the banners of my days. Come up to stand here. It was Jesus that made me whole. Good to have y'all stand, and we're going to believe and trust in God. Deacon Azel Dupree going to lead us in a selection, and everybody tune in. And praise God. Oh, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away.
Can y'all come my up to the altar? Come and up to now I am happy all the day. Oh, at the cross where I first saw yeah. in the burdens um, they rolled away. Oh, Lord. Oh, it was there where I received my sight. And now I am happy all the day. All right. Oh, now. God praise. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Repeat these words after me. With your hand raised. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for coming into my life, forgiving me for all my sin. Lord Jesus, I thank you for making me a new creature. I love you, Lord, with all my heart. I praise you with all I got. Now, Lord, I follow thee all the days of my life. I live for you all the days of my life. Lord, bless me with all you got. You say, if I believe that Jesus died and rose again, I shall be saved. I believe that he died and rose again. And right now, right now, Lord, I'm saved. I am delivered. I am set free. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Clap your hand, everybody. Clap your hand. Clap your hand. Oh, God, we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Go with Jesus, if not before. We're looking to see you Sunday. Thank you, Deacon Herbert Lewis, for coming today. Thank you very much. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. All right. Pray for me. Pray. Pray for one another. God bless you. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.